hello guys welcome and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to generate a key store file for you to be able to sign your android codover apps so without further ado let's get started so first of all we are going to be following these steps so we are going to first create a codover app then we generate the key then create a build.json file and then we we build a signed app so let's first create the app what we are going to do we are going to run terminal so let me just go to my desktop and i clear this so i'm on my desktop in the terminal and i'm going to create a new codover project so i'll run codover create uh, let me just give it a name key demo and then i run that so we have created a new codover project here let's get into the folder by running that command and then just clear that so when we are in the folder in the code of a project folder uh, let me open it up in vs code so open the desktop so here is the the project files so to go back to the desk desktop and we look at our steps so we have finished creating the pro the codover app uh, the project so what we are going to do next we are going to generate a key so how do we generate uh, a codover rather uh, an android signing key what we shall do uh, let me first go back to the desktop and i save this key on my desktop such that you can be able to see it when it, it gets generated let me clear this so we are going to if you are to generate a, an android signing key you should be having java and to run codover you should be having java installed so you can just check that java is installed by running java dash version at this time of recording i have java 11 installed so you should be having java installed as well so we are going to use the java tool called key tool so to make sure you have key tool installed just run key tool in your terminal you shouldn't be getting an error so it should be showing you that key and certificate management tool and some of the commands you can use so that means you have uh, java properly installed with the key tool also there so we are going to run the command key tool then dash gn key which is generate key and then special dash so i'll leave this command in the description of this video and you should be able to get it and you can edit some of the the parts of this command like the alias name and the key, key file name so alias we are going to give our key an alias name i'll give mine uh, my key then the next thing will be dash key alg and then i'll give it rsa and then for the key store file I'll give it a, a key store file name let me call it my key dot jks again i'll leave this the, the command in the description of this video then dash key size so the validity of uh, of your key in days i'll just give it 3000 days which should be so many years to come 
then I press enter so now it's time to enter some of the fields to generate the key so they're asking us for the key store password I'll just give it um, my password you can you, you can have any password you want so when you type you won't be seeing anything but the terminal will be recording first name you give it your first name and last name so these other fields i'll just leave them empty you can fill them if you want so is everything correct so i'll type yes and bam there we have mikey.jks so this is our key store file which we will be using for signing our apps so from there i can now so uh one thing i have to mention you have to note down your password your key store password and your alias password so you have to to note this the most important things you will need this key store file because now that will be the file name and also the alias name you should note it down as well as the key store password if you forget this this the this uh these parameters you will not be able to for example if you publish your your, your app on the play store you won't be able to uh push an update because you won't be able to sign again using the same key so you should not that you should note those uh fields down such that you don't forget them so let me clear this uh to go back to our procedure so we have generated the key the next thing we are going to build like to create a build.json file in our project so when i go back to vs code in our project structure so we have a ww config and git ignore so just in the just in the project folder the main project folder I'll love to create a new file and I name it build.json so when I go back in the project folder and I open it up I should be having this this json file there the next thing we are going to do we are going to then go to so you can go to the Cordova website and you get uh, how you can modify your build.json file so i will copy this i'll leave all this in the description of this this video so we go back to json so in the build.json file we paste in that so under debug you clearly see that we are we are going to fill in the values for code over to use to sign our debug version of the app and then under release we will fill in the values code over which code over will use to sign our release version most cases you can have a because we have one key we have just generated one key so we will use the same values for debug and release version just for convenience so let me start with a password so i set password of my password so i can just copy this and then replicate it here and then also there the same applies there so alias name i named it mikey so i should also name this my key so th these are the values i entered when i was generating the key you should note these values down because when you forget them that will be it you won't be able to sign again that same app to publish on the play store so the location you have to enter here the location of the of this 
this file the key file so on my in my case it's on my desktop so what i'll need to do i'll just have to create the for example if i am in my terminal you clearly see that this is the path to my desktop so if i copy this and then i come to vs code and so this is the path to my desktop and then i add on the file name let me just copy that and paste it there so this is the full path to my key store file i'll paste the same path there so you you don't need to enter uh, anything under key store type so under release version when we tell Cordova to build the release version it will by default it will build a bundle version AAB version you can change this to APK or you can leave it at bundle so now when we come back to our terminal to generate uh, to generate a signed up what we will do we will now let me first enter into the code of our project it's called key demo then first things first i love to first add uh, android platform file so i'll let me first clear this and i'll do code over platform build code over platform add android so code of a platform add android at 11.0.0 the latest version of Cordova. run that this takes some bit of time to add the platform file so it has finished adding so let me just clear that so we have finished adding the platform files android platform files so here they are the next thing we are going to do we are now going to build a release version of the app to do that what you need to do you let you will type cordova build android dash dash release dash dash build config so the config should be capital c equal to build dot json file so build dot json file that is the file we created and we added recently so we just point to it and then we press enter so this should be able to build the release version of your app and should be able to build a bundle version so you see build is successful and this is where our release version where it has been saved so when you go there real fast uh, so it's under platforms android then up build outputs bundle release so here it is if you need to build a release version but an apk what you need you just need to change for example in under release you just change the package type to apk save that so when you come back to your terminal let me just clear this so when you build you the same command code over build android dash release dash build config press enter it should be able to build the release version but an apk so here it is app dot apk so when we come back we see we have now a new folder apk and there it is so you can you can uh, you can be able to publish this bundle version on the play store it is fully signed and you can be able to distribute it for more information you can you can visit the cordova website uh, under signing and up you can read more and see what they say about signing 
that's it guys uh thank you for watching i hope this helped you cheers